We all recognize the system is rigged, but saying so won't fix it. Okay, here's the obligatory explanation of our problem. The rich, the very rich, get very richer. Not by playing by the rules more successfully, uh, but by using their wealth to get our rules written to benefit them. Now that wouldn't be so much of a problem if it wasn't that this is now all happening at all of our expense. Yes, unless you make 325,000 US dollars or more, you've lost 20% of your earning power since 1980. Wow, that's bad, right? Sure is. Not only do we not have what they call upward mobility economically, but we have all just spent the last 30 years, three decades, sliding backwards despite our working harder and longer than ever because our productivity has skyrocketed. We now live in a highly divided, stratified country where the very rich and working poor, the political left and the right, the religious and secular, are positioned and pitted against each other in a type of mortal combat. Those who hold almost all the wealth, and not coincidentally, also the power, use every societal tool, such as the media, to keep us divided, angry, and distracted, because this status quo, this unhealthy reality, keeps these people getting richer and more powerful. The rest of us, well, we are all becoming aware that all we're getting is older, sicker, and angrier. And as such, no matter what camp we are in, most of us understand things just are not functioning in a fair or just way. We know that politicians shouldn't be getting rich, our income shouldn't be going down, and our planet shouldn't be becoming a more, much more dangerous and unhealthy place to live. So the question then is, how do we all help each other to unrig this system we live in? Is it even possible to do so? The answer is yes, absolutely it is possible. It requires having an awareness that we have a problem, a choice to solve it, and a willingness to do things in fundamentally different ways. Yes, different ways are the key because, as the old saying goes, if you want different results, you must do things differently. We've all been led to believe that government and the private sector, aka the quote-unquote free market, are two separate things. Wrong. They unfortunately are now quite entangled and this creates all kinds of perverse incentives that just make a few folks wealthy and the rest of us, well, much less so. We've all been led to believe that government will run along like a train on the tracks taking care of things for us while we all go to work, go to school, and live our lives without, quote-unquote, caring about politics. Well, that's the way we were taught growing up anyway, that government essentially, while not perfect, it took care of things in the most efficient way a government could in the world we lived in, for the greater good, for the most part. We kind of assumed things were as good as they could be, and it was up to us to just make the best of our lives, and the harder we work, the better off we would do. Well, when the people opt out of the people's democratic processes, for example, our self-governance, then large entities, in our case corporations, step in and make decisions. In this case, they're called laws that impact all of our lives. Corporations don't tend to like for example, seeing workers' wages go up steadily because 
they have a huge incentive to grow their profits for shareholders. And steadily rising wages, well, that makes society grow more evenly and life more enjoyable to live. Okay, so back to what we can all do to unrig the system. We need to participate more. The more we do, the more we act step by step each day to make things better, the more power we reclaim. Be active citizens, not just letting the so-called news have pretty people read us stuff about what's going wrong with the world and arguing about it from the right or the left. Life is not a spectator sport. It turns out in the United States and around the world, you either opt in by participating or you get sold out. As people in the labor movement say, quote, if you're not at the table, you're likely on the menu, end quote. Now here are some of the things that each of us can do and possibly should do. Register and vote in every election and invite your coworkers and neighbors to do the same. You won't always get your way. And you won't always have your candidate win. But you'll let people know that you're paying attention and you're in it to win it and you're the one who chooses. Find a local candidate you admire and get to know them. Offer them help. Join their team. Write your congressperson regularly regardless of if they agree with you or they don't do what you want. Again, let them know you're paying attention and you're the one who's in charge. Attend town hall meetings wherever you find them. The victory goes to those who show up. Patronize your main street. These are people's lives and dreams they put into making our communities better. And it's up to us to support the people who bring our children jobs, who make our communities stronger. Ask your online friends what their dream is and support it and be supportive of it. Be an encourager, not a discourager. Ask the store managers where you shop if they have this or that product made in the USA so that you can take a look at it and buy it. If enough of us do that, they'll start making more of an effort to buy from US manufacturers and local producers. That will create more jobs to stay in our community and grow more opportunity for more people in our communities. Volunteer monthly with a cause, advocacy group, or charity that you care about. Having a purpose greater than ourselves makes our lives more meaningful and healthy and makes the world a better place. Attend a school board meeting. Education is one of the most important investments of our time that we as citizens can make. And showing up to show that we care and listening and talking with people makes a huge difference. Again, victory goes to those who show up. Visit and support your local libraries. You'd be amazed at the great resources available now in local libraries. Wonderful books, databases, all kinds of things, and you'll meet great people. And thank a librarian while you're there. It's their job to help you find what you need. That's a great person to make a friend with. Shop at and join employee co-op businesses. There are all kinds of co-ops from Costco to food co-ops and school co-ops. These are employee-owned companies. They help to keep workers employed, to keep businesses in our communities. And uh, this helps our communities grow more fairly and evenly and helps workers to have enough money to spend at the shops in our communities. So worker-owned companies and co-ops, they bring democracy, which we say we love, into our workplace. So workers have a say in some things 
uh, how much time off they get, who they hire and fire to work with them, uh, what their pay structure is, bonuses, all kinds of things that make working at a comp company uh, more profitable for everybody in every way. Get healthy and seek to improve health in body, mind, and spirit. The healthier we are, the more compassion we have for others, the more resilience we have to tough times, the more we can help ourselves and others. And healthy people create healthy families and communities, a nation and a world. And it starts with you. Be kind to yourself and others. The world needs this. Find positive inspirational people to surround yourself with. They say that we are the sum total of the five people we spend the most time with. They say that our income averages out to the income average of the five people we spend the most time with. Well, I think our nature of being a positive, healthy, uh, and a positive person is also impacted by the people we surround ourselves with. And finally, be a positive, inspirational person yourself. It's really rewarding and it's a lot more fun to see life as a scavenger hunt for the good in others and in life and in yourself than to constantly be rehashing all of the bad stuff. And here are a few action steps you could take if you'd like. One, click the social media sharing buttons on this page and share this article with your own network. Two, just for today, commit to focusing on reading, watching, and sharing instructive, inspiring, and positive media. And three, put your phone or tablet down tomorrow while you are in line somewhere or in a waiting room and open yourself up to conversations with people. People are mostly good, mostly nice, uh, working to survive and be with their families. They have similar concerns, whether they're uh, politically like you or not like you. If you spend enough time being open to people and, and respectful, then you'll find the people are mostly good and you'll meet some really uh, beautiful human beings out there. And we need to strengthen our communities and our engagement with them uh, so that we can work together to build a more compassionate, fair and just society and strong and healthy country. Thank you. Please visit solutions4.us, solutionsfor.us for more articles like this, more information about Bernie Sanders who's running for president of the United States of America and how we can together make this a more fair, just, and healthy nation and sustainable world. Thank you. I'm Joseph Siegel.